Welcome to my shop slash lab. <laughs> this is where I do all my speaker measurements. Well, mostly. Anyways, the real reason I'm here today is because I'm going to measure the TS parameters of these Pierce Audio 24 inch subwoofers. These things are big and mean. I have them, not for myself, uh, a customer dropped them off and uh, I'm going to be building some boxes for this guy. Um, you know, they're actually a custom woofer. Pierce Audio doesn't stock these. That's why I'm involved. I gotta, I gotta figure out what these things actually are and then build some kind of system around them. First, a little bit of eye candy for you. Just want to show these things off. They're actually really well built when you have them in your hands. They um, weigh 67 pounds. Someone on a different video asked me how much they weigh so I weighed them up and just showing off the, the basket there in the back side of the cone. First thing I needed to do was uh, build a test enclosure uh, to get the TS parameters and to get the frequency response. Um, uh, so I just, I'm just hacking together a junk enclosure really. Uh, it doesn't need to be anything special, it just needs to be airtight. Um, so this is me doing that. And I'm showing you me going through this not because it's all that interesting putting together a junky box, but just to show you that um, how much work really is involved in doing this. It's it's not something easy to get. You can get TS parameters using um, the added mass method, but I just find this to be better, um, more accurate, and uh, more consistent too, but more work. See, I'm not flush trimming or anything, I'm just hacking everything away. Here's a quick compass I made out of laminate. 24 inch compass is hard to come by. And I'm finishing her up right here. There it is. Mind you, I gotta clean it out first. Don't want any dust getting into the driver. Now it's important that I measure the inside of the driver very carefully. This was a roughly a 62 centimeter cube inside. I need this volume to be accurate and I also need the woofer piston diameter. Here I'm checking the DC resistance on the multimeter just as a backup check to what the woofer tester tells me. Here I'm hooking up the woofer tester 3. First I'm going to tell the woofer tester 3 how big my test box is. Then I'm going to tell it the diameter of the driver. Now it is prepared to measure the free air parameters. There's the sweep. Now I've got to put it into the test enclosure. Uh, the program needs a sweep outside of the box and inside of the box. So this is what I got to do. The added mass method, it is easier, but like I say, I just prefer this. And there was the sweep. Here are the results. If you look in the right hand column there, you can see the results um, generated by the software. You can see that the DC resistance is pretty close to the multimeter, but I trust this more. You can also see that the FS is pretty high and the Q, um, both the electrical and the total Q is pretty high. Uh, this I can tell right away is gonna require a large box and I'm a little disappointed in that. This uh, I figured was important to show you because this is what the software is looking at and it's comparing the two to be able to generate VAS. Now you can see it only increased by 9 Hertz so I actually got a prompt from the program saying hey uh, this box isn't small enough consider making a smaller box and I was like are you kidding me I just spent an hour doing this. 9 Hertz is enough of a difference in my opinion. If it was just a few Hertz that would be a different story. And if you watched any of my other videos, my very first video, I looked at matching two 4 ohm voice coils wired in parallel for 2 ohm load on an amp. And this just kind of shows what I mentioned in that video. This thing doesn't go down to 2 ohms. And that was the second sample. You heard the sweep there, hopefully. And now I'm putting it into the box. There was that other sweep. And here we go again, TS parameters are on the right hand side, and I'm getting a pretty good match here. They're not exactly matched, but FS is really close. 
Vast is actually reasonably close, even though it looks like a lot. That parameter does fluctuate a lot. Um, Q is close. Um, so I'm feeling confident that of these two samples, they're built relatively close, similar, and I'm happy with the results, at least the consistency. And here again, I'm just showing the difference between the free air measurement and the enclosure measurement. And we're getting about 9 hertz again. I got that same prompt, uh, the program saying, hey, look out, your box maybe isn't small enough. But again, I was, I was comfortable with this. So the next thing to do is to plop this into a box modeling software. I use SoundEasy, so that's what I do here. And here are the results. Um, I used three enclosure sizes. I just figured these three uh, are the most likely to be used. And now I'm looking at Excursion. This is in the small test enclosure sized box, 221 liters, and um, plotted between 500 and 3000 watts. You can see that um, it's hard to extract a lot of Excursion out of this driver in such a small enclosure. Here's the 800 liter box, and you can see that the 3000 watts gets a lot more excursion out of the driver, which means more SPL at lower frequencies. And it's going to have a smoother, flatter response as well in that larger box. And to wrap things up, I'm going to measure it. There is the sweep. I'm using home impulse for this. I just prefer it to um, sound easy. Um, and here's the results. It's not exactly anechoic. It's near field. There are a few reflections, but I've smoothed it. And um, you can see the box model was about right. The sound easy prediction showed uh, the inductance roll off where it is and the inductance peak at about 40 hertz. And it shows a steeper than 12 dB per octave roll off. Um, that's because of the high Q. So I'm not really sure what to make of these results. They're not exactly what I expected. Well there you have it, two honking huge drivers and how I go about measuring them and figuring out where the performance metrics lie. Catch you on the next one, it's going to get interesting. Check out my little sub video to this uh, explaining what driver I'm going to look at next. I think you'll be really impressed.